This is RadioFire.com. Yours truly, Diamond K, in here alongside my father. How you doing, Dad? In the house. Happy. Good. You good? Yes. Yes. So, real quick, before we get uh, before we get into things, I was in the supermarket. Okay, and got some things. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get rung up. Should have did self checkout, but no. I wanted the lady to work for her money. Plus, self checkout was busy. And, uh, you know, the lady's ringing me up. An irate customer comes in. Oh, I don't even know he was a customer because he came in from the, from the exit. The, the exit. He, the yeah. yeah. And, and he comes in and he says, where's your bathroom? And <laughs> the only person that was ringing up people was the line that I was in. And so she was the only attendant that was right there. Right. So she said, the bathroom is not open to the public. And he said, what? How you going to have a bathroom? It's not open to the public. And so she was like, well, I said, you know, that's what I, where's the manager? So she gets the manager, the manager comes, he gives her the same thing, same thing. It's not, you know, it's not what like. So he keeps pushing about it. He keeps pushing that he needs these bathroom. He doesn't understand why he don't have a bathroom. And the manager kind of, uh, I, 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 he lets them use the employee bathroom. Right, right. Before, but he kind of is hesitating this. And he walks over and, and, and converses with somebody else first. And then he comes back. And while, before he came back, the guy, you know, because other people are looking at it because he created a scene. So right. people are just looking. Right. And, and so he's one of these honorary type people. So he's speaking to the crowd. Right. So he says, y'all need to be thankful. It's people like, if it wasn't for people like me, we would still be slaves. Oh, man. You got to be kidding. No, I'm dead serious. Oh, wow. I couldn't help myself. He went all the way there. I couldn't help myself uh -huh. because I realized now he's speaking to me and other people. Right. I looked around. Nobody else is saying anything because this guy is so obnoxious and loud. They were scared. Yeah. yeah. So I said, you mean somebody who can't hold their bladder until they get home is who freed the slaves? <laughs> <laughs> and he oh, said, man. whatever, nigga. You know what I mean. <laughs> Oh man! So that's what that's happened funny. to me earlier. That's funny. Today. <laughs> oh man! All yeah. Right. So that all I, right. you know, I just right. that's wow. that's the kind of days that wow. I have. Um, wow. but uh, you know, we talked about it last week, Joe Biden, Joe and Biden. um, uh, I don't like Joe Biden, and I know, I know you're gonna say it. I used to like him. Yeah. I wouldn't go that far, but uh, <laughs> maybe I did. I don't. I don't know. Maybe I thought he was cool. But he's fake. He, he did this fake. Uh, the speech was real, but he tried to set up a moment and tried to make it organic. But to me, it was clear that it was staged. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, a lot of people have been talking positively about Biden. And I said last week, too, about a friend of mine, Travis Winkie, wants him to come back because he said he's got the experience. You know, he was under uh, Barack Obama. And uh, so I, I'm still saying I'm looking for the right person. Yeah, I mean... I, I, don't, I think he's too old. I think his time has gone. Do you think he has experience? I mean, he has experience, but I think his time has uh, gone to uh, be president. He's ran about three or four times. and uh, <laughs> But uh, I, I think it's gone. I don't, I don't think he's the one. Because uh, this one that, that, that needs to come out to save this... This is... Every year or every election, we say the same thing. This is the most important election because this person here got to save the union. The union gonna be gone. The but this union is, the, is going it's, it's to be really gone. different. I mean, think you know? think back to the election of seventy nine eighty when uh, Jimmy Carter's running against Reagan. Right. Did you feel like this was the single most important thing? Not you know they they said that this, but not they did like, say it? The, yeah. I mean because we had the hostages yeah, yeah, yeah right. we had okay, gas and okay, so okay yeah so it was stuff going but, on but 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 it, it wasn't like to this extent it didn't feel this serious to end right okay? you know, we feel like we'll be that, better oh off God, with this one or that guy. one right yeah right it was it, it was still you know prefer not not uh, Reagan. Uh, but not that this is going to be in this country. Democracy <laughs> is going to be gone. You know what I mean? This guy, you know, he, he, you, you're going to be, you got to give him the reins and say, now I am king. You know, uh, no, it wasn't like that. This is, this is, this is, this is, in the words of, I've, I've said it before on the air, in the words of uh, Martin Luther King, these are some dangerous times. 
you know, uh, we got some difficult days ahead. You know? <laughs> and, uh, that's for sure. This, this country is. Uh, just, and to show you how powerful the, the president's words are, look what's happening in, uh, well, in uh, New, New, Zealand. New Zealand. And the guy said it, you know, the American president is. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that so, and that really puts in perspective that the president is, you know, the most powerful person in the world, the American president. And um Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that um Biden said this and, and this this quote that I have from him. I have the most progressive record of anybody running, he said before prompting a standing ovation from uh, a very friendly audience in Delaware. Yeah. And uh, uh, he said, oh, I didn't mean it uh, of anybody who would run. Uh, but clearly, if you listen to the context of the sentence, mm -hmm. you can say not running yourself. I'm more progressive than anybody that they got over there running. Mm -hmm. And I'm not even running and I'm more progressive than them. You can say that and not be of the people running. Mm -hmm. But then if you say I'm more progressive than anybody who would run that doesn't even make sense you know mm -hmm. what i mean it's just mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but he got what he wanted he got a little bit of stuff but to me it's like you're like dangling maybe i will maybe i won't every week somebody else is running i think they need to they need to, to, to have a cutoff no more people should be able to run at this point well i think that i think we're gonna see that cutoff when the debate start the people are gonna they start, better, to, yeah, yeah, uh, and then you're gonna be able to hear um, uh, because uh, you know I, I think now people uh, can see how this office people running are pandering, you know, yeah. and they just say anything, yeah, uh, just like everybody, everybody wants to get reparations now, you know. And, it's uh, ironic, Dad. I've have never you heard, ever heard it come heard up words, come up like this never. in a in a, in a <laughs> presidential election? No, never, and never heard it come out of a white person's mouth this much. Life. Yeah, period. Yeah, I ain't never heard a white person say that. You know, and yeah. uh, but it shows you how they value the vote. Yeah, and and that we it's a difficult they, they desperation. Yeah. They 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 say we got to get these people out to vote. We got to get this man out of office. They said this is, and I hate to quote it again, with some difficult days ahead. Yeah, well I um, you know it's it's crazy because I was telling you off camera I was watching this documentary on the Kennedys, and you know I know history very well. And they were talking about uh, you know just different things as far as the track record they made this was a very pro kennedy documentary i've seen some depending on what the director or producer is feeling yeah. about the subject is, is how things are slanted right. this was a very pro kennedy family documentary any of the conspiracies they didn't they they you know no credit to it but even when they were talking about civil rights and that the the Kennedy family was, um, you know, the boys were oblivious. Like they didn't even, they didn't even understand civil rights. Like they didn't even have, you know, contact with with black people. Uh, so they didn't even know uh, that oppression was even happening. You know, they just, you know, just people that were servers, but they didn't have contact. These these were boys of privilege or whatever. And so, but that that's, that goes to show you how oblivious they were and how invisible. And how second citizenship black people were. Yeah, and but listen, yeah, they, and that was I them mean, saying that they don't they, fault them. They, they didn't even know. Right, right. They, you know, we, you know, that's beyond anything. I can yes, they because, couldn't conceive it. I mean, so they were seeing, they people. were seeing the the Freedom Riders on TV is 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 the part in the story that, that mm -hmm. I'm talking about, and mm -hmm. you know, the, the, you you know that that great story, and what was so fascinating to me is that just this time period 10 years or so uh, or 12 years or so before i was born mm -hmm. you know people couldn't even vote and now we have it with within a, a generation the white candidates pandering to black people with the talk of reparations and more stuff mm -hmm. how things change mm-hmm we're just talking about a few short, I mean, right. you can think back 10 years like it's nothing. Right. 
<clears throat> and but that time to me seems so far. Mm-hmm. Like because I don't remember it ever not being an option to vote. Mm-hmm. And then when we see other people who don't respect that uh, right, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's um, it's crazy. If if it comes natural to me about voting, you know, somebody who's been born since the two thousand. Mm-hmm. They it's really you know, they take it for granted. Mm-hmm. They take it for granted, and they they don't know how um, powerful they are and how important that vote is. And uh, they uh, it's it's almost like uh, you know I told you that story when I had uh, we had the restaurant yeah. African Queen and the guy I put him in charge of making sure of supplies. You know, if the cups ever got so low, you, you know you got to let me know so we can order cups. And then. Um, we ran out of cups. And I said, how, how's this possible? How can we have a restaurant where we have any cups? How's that possible? And he said, he looked at me, he said, well, the restaurant I worked at before, they just always had cups, you know? And I said, but I put you in charge of the cups, you know? So he couldn't we don't even know consider. how important those, you know, our roles are in life. And voting is important and you have a decision and you can control things. He didn't realize that he was controlling. He, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing that but see, you know that's how it is. Everybody's not a general mm-hmm. or even a lieutenant. You try to you try to put him in position to be a lieutenant. Right. right. He was strictly a line guy. Right. That's it. Mm-hmm. But you don't need those kind of people around. Right. You need. I need right. more lieutenants and and majors and corporals. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? mm-hmm. And uh, it, it's it, it it's bad that that's that's his father's fault. Right. And that, that's a good point because we keep saying, we're, you know, this generation. That's this, his this, father's this, fault. This, it's the parents' fault. It was the people who raised you. They didn't know. And they couldn't do. You know what I mean? And, but uh, the, thing, the thing is, is that his his mother might have let it slide. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, but I, I, I agree with the you. The father, yeah. you know what I mean? Right. And, and um, but the, you the right. uncle had his own responsibilities yeah, and that kind of fell right. through the cracks. I'd see him every other Saturday, but right. his fa- the father was supposed to Ooh, that's strong, supposed brother. to handle that. And, and and I think that we have to start calling it the way it is. Yes, because men have fallen down in my generation. No question, our generation Mine fell too. down. Mine too. And allowed this to happen. But but the thing is, is that we have to we can acknowledge it, accept it, and correct it. Ooh, powerful. Uh, he. Boy, boy, boy. Okay, repeat that, brother. We, we have what? to acknowledge it. Acknowledge it. What else did I say? <laughs> <laughs> Accept it. That's right. And correct it. That's right. That's right. That's and, right. And, and you know what I mean? But we don't have to get into no whole long argument about this and that. I did the best I could. This and that. All, we, we, we see the result. We see right. what it is. Right. It's like right. we failed the test. You know right. you didn't study. And, and your best wasn't good enough. Too. Right. You know you didn't study. Well, I looked at it a little bit, but I had to do this and I had to do that. But we know you didn't study. I had to try to go out and get, and get some money, man. You but know? let's study now. And let's retake the test. That's all. Bro, That's all we got to do. It's Tuesday. He's That's on, all we got to do. All right. <laughs> Prince. All right. So speak, speaking of a role, um, I, I tried. I, I, I liked him initially. Beto. O'Rourke. Yeah. Beto, yeah. Beto, Beto. Whatever you want to call him. From Texas. I was rooting for him to beat Ted Cruz. Nobody likes Ted Cruz. No. Ted Cruz's wife is like, hey, he's all right. I mean, we're married. I mean, hey. She says, I wear my ring on the wrong finger because I married the wrong man. <laughs> oh, man. I never heard that one. Okay. <laughs> she don't even ring. like him. Okay. I wear my ring on the wrong hand because I married the wrong man. Oh, boy. But uh, so Beto O'Rourke raised $6.1 million online. In the first 24 hours of his campaign, big numbers, more than that's more than Bernie. Yeah, I think the five. Yeah, that's that's more than him. So he made this announcement. Did you see it? Did, did you see his announcement? He made this little, he made a little video. Uh, he he uh, to me, uh, he's trying to come off like uh, the original Barack Obama. You know, because he got this 
takes his jacket off, rolls his sleeves up, and let's try to, yeah. you know, subliminally see. I got, I'm rolling up. That's true. He is trying to do. He is trying to do that. And uh, he's trying to, you know, be the the nice guy. It's not the right haircut. And uh, it's not. But everything else, he did a carbon copy. He tried, except for some key things. He does not have. He doesn't have. Uh, he just. He doesn't have the right level of charisma. He's kind of weird, actually. He seems like he has a, a, if he takes that suit jacket off, he got a lot of pins in his pocket. Like a whole lot of pins. Kind of weird. Well, <clears throat> you know, when I, I saw him speaking the other day and from the side profile, he looked like Abraham Lincoln without a beard. I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. So he did this um, announcement. And uh, with with him and his wife in a video, and you know, people are gonna have a problem with everything, so they started attacking him. Why wow, you did a three minute video? Your wife was sitting there, and she did you didn't let her talk. Not, so they just nagging on him about that. And I kept hearing him say that he was apologetic. He's apologetic. Yes, and we, and we will get to yeah, all of that yeah. because this weakness to me shows why he can't be the president mm. because. Okay, you don't know what happens behind the scenes. Right. Let's just say you and mom, let's say you're making an announcement, right? Mm -hmm. And you say, Sheila, and Sheila's my mother's name, guys. So Sheila, you want to say something? No, 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 I'm going to sit there. I'm going to support you. I don't want to say nothing. I'm just going to sit there. She would say that. If, if she wasn't mm -hmm. feeling like talking, if she's speaking about something, and you're talking about something she don't really, she want to support you, but she may not want to say anything, a lot of wives would may do that. Mm -hmm. Or vice versa. She could be somewhere with her class or something. And you be there to support her. But she said, you want to say something? You're like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm right here. It's moral support. There's nothing wrong with that. But they attacked him for having his wife sitting there for the three minutes of the video. She's sitting beside him. But she didn't say anything. And then, too, uh, you know, this is a very important announcement. So you're not going to... Have do something extempor extemporaneously. Yeah. You know, you don't plan out everything going to do. Um, that, that reminds me of when um, they were having the uh, Democratic uh, uh, campaign dem mm -hmm. uh, convention, mm -hmm. and the um, Pakistani guy who who they kept attacking. His wife was up there. They, gold they, star. The gold star. Yeah. You know, because she didn't say that. They, you know, they they. This whole scenario. Same she thing. Was it was the same thing. And she can't talk. And you know. she probably didn't want to say anything, or she was too right. emotional. Of course. Because we, they were speaking about son. their son, yeah. who was a hero. You know what I mean? And so these things make me unsure. But it's more than that. It's more. It's more than that. Um, aside from the fact that nobody really knows who he is, I don't think he has a backbone. And I'm not just spitting out stuff. I have proof. I have proof. So, proof, at, proof that he doesn't have a backbone. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Exhibit A. I want to present to you, Dad. Oh, I got it. So, <laughs> so after announcing his candidacy, he spent three days in Iowa. Right. Mm -hmm. You know they got to go and talk about pandering. They got to go to Iowa. They got to. Uh, these Midwest people are love. They just love this this time of year. So uh, before he head to Wisconsin, right? So he's going on this multi state multi state tour, Midwest tour. So he's issued two apologies since Friday. Two. He hasn't been in campaign for one week, and he's already apologized. I thought you were going to say he hadn't been in the office but a week. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear what the I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Okay. So while he was talking in, in, uh, in Iowa, he made a joke, and he said he has three kids. So he has a 12-year-old, 11-year-old, and an 8-year-old. So he made a joke and says, sometimes I help my wife raise our three children. Oh, they jumped all over him about that. He was a joke. Okay, which I thought was kind of funny. So he's saying that he's been campaigning, he's been doing this and doing this. And sometimes I help my wife with the kids. Mm -hmm. So the, the feminists jumped all over it. You know what I mean? And, and that they could, how could he say that? You know, setting us back. Da 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 da, and so he comes out and he apologizes swiftly, same day, and, and he apologizes. Uh, he learned from those statements. This is going to make him a better person. Uh, he will not make 
uh, similar comments about uh, the involvement as a parent. You know, that's the worst thing he could do. The worst. I said, once he did that, mm-hmm. I liked him Friday morning. Oh, my goodness. Friday evening. I said, he's done. I don't ever see him yeah. again. I hate him. Yeah. yeah. Now, see, he could have handled that in several different ways. How would you have Number one, that? he could have said, wait, you guys can't get a joke. Can I say? Yes, I love that. That's can't, absolutely. Can't get a joke. Can you understand that? Or he could have been uh, explaining it to them. Hey, li- listen, if I'm on a campaign trail and I'm, I'm, my, my wife is in Texas, how do you think I'm going to be home raising the kids? I can't be in two places at one time. You know, so I, and when I'm there, I'm there. But the majority of the time, I'm not home. I'm campaigning. Right. Right, and that's a serious and thing. So, uh, the kids are 12, 11, and 8. So, uh, the, um, Mom is, who, who if, if not me, then who? If not her, then why not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, you know? crazy. that's crazy. So we didn't need that. This yeah. showed his weakness and poor judgment. So then yeah. also on Friday, they unearthed this story, a fiction story that he wrote when he was 15 in high school, that detailed the, the murder of some children mm. in the story. He apologized for that. So they were like, what is this story that you wrote in high school? And, this, and so he says, I'm mortified when I read this now. I'm incredibly embarrassed. I have to take ownership of my words. Whatever my intention was as a teenager doesn't matter. I have to look long and hard at my actions, at the language I use, and I will try to do better. You know what? Now, see, now the, the thing, uh, see, he should have been at a table like this and said, wait a minute. <laughs> wait, wait, wait one minute. I'm going to tell you right now from the beginning. I'm going to say a lot of things that you might not like, okay, in my past and the future. So do not question and cry about everything i'm saying okay this yeah. is a campaign for this country question to me like yes st- yes st- <laughs> stop it right now they would have say beto's strong he's strong <laughs> yeah. yes mr beto right now <laughs> All right, uh, well, I'm, what were we saying now? I'm giving you. You rolled my sleeves up, right? <laughs> where, where were we at? I mean, he got to you, you take charge right there. You're uh, running against Donald Trump. Right. You can't. He has an apology. He has an apology. This, this, this is the guy who says he grabs women in their crotch. And, and they want it. And they want it. <laughs> and, and, and I'm going to continue to do it. What are you talking about? going to ask me about a book I wrote. Or, uh, this a I'm book. Not, this I'm was not. a this was a book report. <laughs> <laughs> a book report. That's crazy. It's, it's, and and crazy. here's the thing, Dad. Okay, we he's running against a guy who sued a bank that he borrowed money from, and oh, he, he didn't he pay want, them he back. Didn't want to pay him back, right? He right. sued the bank. Right, right, right. <laughs> this right. guy has a, a whole different level. If if the Democrats and and I and I and I told Nikki I was I was um, debating whether I was going to say this one day I have to say it. If the Democrats are not strong enough to beat Trump, then we, maybe we just this is what we deserve because Beto can't do it, Biden can't do it. Well, well, yeah, well, yeah, that's true. And now we got it's thirty other people that we could choose from, but I'm just saying but listen, these two can't. Here's one consoling factor in that. Uh, uh, in the 2016 uh, campaign, the person who was in ahead at this point in the Republican Party was uh, the uh, governor of Wisconsin, and Trump was 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 uh, getting one percent of the vote at one. this point. One. That's percent. true. So that's uh, a good point. The, uh, the they haven't even it's early. Yet. They haven't it's, even early. Yet. It's, it's early. It's, it's, it's early. real, it's early. real early. Um, that that brings me some comfort because yeah. yeah. If this is yeah, we need to see more. We need to peel some more layers away. Um, so, last thing, uh, last I, thing. I'm just getting started. I, I see. <laughs> <laughs> no. The white the White House uh, expects to see Mueller's findings before they go to Congress. Yeah, yeah, and that's something. I'm over the Mueller report. Right. I don't think it matters. Right. Right. At this point, the long-awaited Mueller report may not even make a difference. Right. So the lawyers are expected to have an opportunity to review whatever version of Mueller's report the Attorney General submits to Congress before they get it. And long before we see it. Right. 
So this is going to set up a potential battle between the whole never, everything. Yeah, they're never going to know. It. I mean, this, this is the Mueller report that they're going to get. They, they, <laughs> right. They're going to look at it and they're going to say, okay. All right, give him that. <laughs> Re- release, release this. Right. You know I mean? And uh, so, yeah, yeah, I think I think you're right. Yeah. And, um, uh, the, they will uh, say everything is executive privilege. And then two, you're not going to hear any more than what you already know. You already right. know. Just like you just said, here's a guy who sued the bank. That he, he borrowed money he from. Right. He sued yeah. them because they went. They kept they, bothering him ask, about asking the money for the money, money back. back. So can you just can you just imagine what has happened in this country? Even if you get him out of office, he's infiltrated and he's put in office in positions, judges and and, and flunkies and people. I mean, it's just yeah. it's like ants have just invaded. That, the, you know, the, he the, talks about invasion. <laughs> they point. invaded D.C. Right. Right. And, 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 the, right. and the whole country. You're right. This is this is much worse. Oh, now I'm sad again. Yeah. This is much worse. <laughs> this is much worse than than you really think about yeah. it because you man. take him out, he but, has corrupted and corroded so much right. that for years, right. we're gonna be feeling the effects of this. Right. These these corrupt people are gonna be falling off That's, one by one for different things. But it's just like some people who are spraying the, the, the house for uh, ants. You know, they spray in the woodwork, and then they throw the can away. Okay, that's that's uh, Trump. The can's been thrown away, but it's already the, the spray. This this Mueller report, they're going to be fighting over this well into the election. It's uh, uh, Dr. Dre had talked about making this album called Detox. He been talking about it for fifteen years, never came out. About eight years after hearing it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, people stopped caring about it. Right. So now it's done, but he can't drop it. Nobody cares. Right. And that's how the Mueller report is going to be. No, yeah. no, 2020, and, nobody's going to care about the Mueller report. And, and, I, and I don't think that uh, the, the uh, campaigning Democrats even talk about it. Because no already need. Know, you already know this guy's unfit. So we, you know, yeah. we just, just So it's just like, they're going to give us something and tell us all the stuff we already know. We could be like, yes, um, Trump is no good. He lies. He loves Russia. And he swears. And Twitter. And okay. Tell us all the stuff we already know. Okay. Right. Thanks a lot, Robert. Right. <laughs> yeah, so. Mm, man, Robert has got a name for him. I was just thinking about uh, um, Gail. Kept, you know. Kelly? Yeah. <laughs> Robert. <laughs> that was Robert. funny. Just, Robert, calm down, Robert. That was kind of uh, kind of funny. He, and that was good for him because that was like uh, if his mother was here. You know, he needed that. Robert. Yes, Ma. You know. Uh, mm. But, uh, yep. Is he done? Yeah, yeah. Entertaining. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Michael Jackson isn't. I don't. You say what you want. What do you mean, Michael, Michael Jackson? Michael Jackson he's deceased. Is great, yeah, and he's the greatest entertainer in the world. I don't care what y'all say. That part wasn't up I for debate. I love Michael Jackson. That part was not up for debate. Some people have been very upset with me about Michael Jackson. Told me that I was delusional. And then other people, Michael was innocent. It's just, it's, it's a hard line. There's no, there's no people that's like, I don't know. They either, he did it, and I hate him. Or how dare you sully the name of Michael Jackson with these accusations? You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but um, I, I, I know. Here's what I know: Joe Jackson, Papa Joe, and uh, Matthew Knowles, mm-hmm. and my father. Mm-hmm. What do these three men have in common? And and, and uh, Richard Williams. Yes, and him. What do these three men have? Four men have in common. They're black. Yes. They were all born in the twentieth century. Yes. Same generation. Same mindset. The same mindset. Yeah. And and I did not know it until last week. Mm. You said something, mm-hmm. and I said, "This is like Joe Jackson." <laughs> it's just like because. If if me and my sisters could all sing and dance, mm. he would have had us. <laughs> yeah. And here they are, the Williams kids. <laughs> right. He would have whipped us into shape. And we were talking about rehearsing. 
and practicing. Oh, right, right. And, and I said, you know, if you got it down pat, you ain't got to practice all the time. Said, we need to practice. No, you need to practice every day. We yeah. talking about practice. Yeah, sure, we, yeah. Listen, we, yeah. and we weren't even, I, we, I was like, I got nervous. I got sweaty under the arms. And I said, now I understand what they're going to. He channeled Joe Jackson. And it was scary. <laughs> I sure did. I remember, but you yeah. remember, you remember yeah. what I'm about? Yeah. 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 A- angry. Yeah. My mother got quiet. The yeah. girls got quiet. Yeah. yeah. The baby stopped crying. <laughs> but yeah. that's that's what it takes to push. Yeah. You know, when you when you when you see that and you don't have a lot of kids that grow into that because it takes a special kind of individual to be able to push the family forward to the greatness. And you know, your your mother had said something that um that was um, profound, like some of the things you said uh, this evening. Uh, we were watching, I don't know, Oprah's show or whatever. Super that, Soul Sunday. No, uh, on Saturdays. Uh, Master Class. Um, her network, but what's oh. the, the lady? Yanla. Yes, yes. Yeah, I can't say that. There's an L in there, right? A Yanla. Yes. Why did her mother do that? <laughs> was, she did that. That's not her real name. Oh. <laughs> she came. She came. Her name. Her last name Jones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I. <laughs> I, I respect her. I like her. Yeah. I go, uh, 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 let me say that uh, you know she. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to be walking behind her, having to go to the bathroom. She would take a long time to get out of my way. She she says, uh, <laughs> you know, she had the show. You know, and, and, and a lot of the women are saying, or the kids were saying that they that, that they like didn't that. have their father. Oh, and then the fathers weren't there. Yeah, and then um, uh, your mother has said, but here's the point. Some of you did better not having your father. He was. Are y'all said that? No, your your mother. Oh, your your mother, Sheila Williams, said some. A lot of you probably did better not having your father because if he was no good, he couldn't he couldn't take care of his own self. How you gonna help? They you? need to hear that. He can't help you. But your they mother, need to hear that. that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah she, and she was right. You know, yeah. and, uh, your mother, the mothers did all they could and did more and did for you that he wasn't and you made it in do. spite of yes and you, was, yeah. you say this is messed up yeah imagine how you would have turned out of that exactly exactly good God exactly exactly you would say give me my old life back exactly. <laughs> and then and some people uh, you know they spend their lives saying I wish I was uh, 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 Michael Jackson or I wish I was um, uh, uh, what was OJ's lawyer uh, the great lawyer um, Johnny Cochran. They did. I don't want to be either one of them. I want my life. I want to live. That's a good point. Don, you want to live your life. Yeah. I'm not trying to live uh, 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 Joe Jackson's life or anybody. Right. I'm trying to be Dwight Williams, Dwayne, Dwayne Williams. Right. And uh, right. especially most of the people that they they with Luther Vandross, he did. No, I'm not sure. I want to live. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's uh, it's living your life to the fullest and doing what's right. And uh, but we need all hands on deck for this country. Yes. We are sinking. This is like a. This is a ship. You know how they kept saying we all in the same ship now. Yeah. We yeah. all for real. In the for same real. Boat. Okay. <laughs> Black, white, Asian, Hispanics. It's one boat, and we in there. And I think people people starting to see that. Yes, yes, yes. And then uh, this campaign is going to be different too if they want to win, you know, because usually they talk about policy, this policy. This man need to get out of office. We got to, we got to get him out. Yeah. We got to restore. Uh, we said last week, the Democrat Party is the only party that will be able to make America great again because we're not great now. We're sinking. If you can't see that, we are sinking. Yeah, we need to be great again, and we are the ones that will make us great again because he has made us hate again. Not great again. He's made America hate again. Our friends are our enemies. Canada <laughs> don't even like us no more. Canada? <laughs> Canada! <laughs> I can't, I mean... I can't, you ever, have you ever heard anybody say they don't like Canada? I mean, what the Canada? I mean, what, how can you be mad at Canada? England don't like you. France don't like you. But Putin likes you. Yeah. Right. Right. You know, right. uh, the, 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 the premier of uh, uh, North Korea, if you're going to uh, do what I say, Donald, I like you. 
You know, what I mean? uh, this is insane. Right. So uh, yeah, we're gonna make America great again, but it's got it, it's the Democrats who are running for office. Then they just let the people know we are the ones that gonna make America great again because he has made us hate again. Hundred percent. Yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. Well, thank you as always. We need to tell people what, what, what news station they need to be watching. Radio on Fire. RadioonFire.com. If you want to get your news, if you want to know what's happening in urban America, I was shocked and pleased and happy. <laughs> Every day I go to RadioonFire.com to get my news, to get urban news, to know what's going on in America, in black America. Guarantee you. Right? Absolutely. That was powerful. Yes. Get your news from us. Go to RadioOnFire.com network and let me know what you think about the real news.